Hey guys, this is our production second in the Project Sanctuary, and I'm back in Ascension part 34, I think. Jeez. Um, we're in the middle of a very intense scene, it can actually become very dramatic, or it can just pass by, and I was worked up over nothing. But let's just go. You are noble. What do you know about love? You don't love anyone. You'll never love anyone. You're not capable of feeling love either. Right. Sorry, I forgot you were the bringer of love. I know what I am, do you? We don't have time for this. Move. Oh, no drama! Ew, that was really sad. We are loving Sander, so shut the fuck up, you asshole. There's the room. Watch your mouth in there. Shut up. I'll get in there first. Wait here. I'm not a noble. You just had a disagreement. Get over it. Get over it! I'm protecting my friend! No, you're not. You're trying to stop her from seeing someone you don't approve of. Uh, quite like my family, in fact. Your family? I'm not beating the shit out of Diego and sending Sky off to a boarding school. You would, if you could. Yeah, but unlike your parents, I love Sky. They don't care about you. They don't even, they don't even want to see you. I don't. I... No, but they're still my family. Please don't say it like that. Why? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna set me on fire? Because that's what you do, right? Set people on fire when you can't control yourself. No, I'd... Stop. Both you and Sander were wrong in a way, but don't... Pathetic little me trying so hard to become a daddy's favorite, but he will never be because... He like the pathetic little shit he is, he always cry and pity himself in the fact of the trouble. Ida. What's wrong, Sander? Already lost it. Can you control your emotions? Maybe you should die. What are you talking about, Ida? I want to crush you right now. Don't say that to Sander. He's been through so much. Hurt him. I can't even play her. You must have thought about it, right? To kill yourself. That would be a sight to see, pathetic to the end. Um, I'll leave before I do something bad. Uh, hurts. Damn, it hurts. She's waiting for you this way. Diego, wait, please. What's wrong with your eyes? Oh. I can't, but now, I can't talk to anyone like this. I keep saying things I don't want to say. I'm sorry. It's my fault, right? Want to get even? How? Do you know how I know Queen Kalida? No, I don't. My father was working at this castle as a... <sighs> Head of the Queen's harem. Kalida's mother's personal servant. I was reserved when I was born to be, well, someone like my father. I always knew you were some of a... Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't make friends either. I can't. I don't know how to. I used to say, say the same thing. Maybe one day I'll end up like you guys do. End up with us. End up with us. You're all, you're all, we're all equally fucked up. Ah. Not as much as you, though. You go in. I'll make sure your magic friend is safe. I'll make sure he doesn't burn anything. Anyone or anything. That fine. Fight sound intense. Thanks, Diego. How could I say that to Sander? How could I say that to him? I... Oh, I feel bad about myself. This is all Kale's fault. I am so angry right now, and I'm so sad. I'm so sorry, Sander. I really didn't mean to say all that. It wasn't me. It was Ida. Blame Ida. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Ida. Dario, leave us. Yes, your majesty. I'd welcome you in a better state, princess, but unfortunately, we don't have time for pleasantries. My scouts say the king of Veland is building an army. Not silver, though, as Diego said. They're, they are mostly Velandians, a noble soldier, some paid soldiers from the Go clan. He said something interesting, however. Apparently, they have silver weapons and they use a special type of glove, making sure they don't touch the blades. Makes me think your silver soldiers might be real after all. 
Why am I here, Kalida? You know, hiding me in your palace means declaring open war. I'm a traitor, remember? Maybe I'm declaring war. With your help, we can show everyone your brother is in no shape to lead a country. He's unstable and under the influence of a powerful organization. Silver Order. Precisely. I need you to stand with me, Ida. I need you to tell everyone how dangerous your brother is. Do you have proof of this monstrous army Diego told me about? Not exactly. Troubling? We need other countries' help. We need Doragon and Or, or Daga. What about the Moon Elves? I doubt they will help us, unless we will show them evidence they can't deny they won't care until Kale finally decides to take Ildis too. He's collecting the homeless, the opium, the refugees in his dungeons. We need something better, Ida. We need more than just your words. Nobody knows what you've seen, what Diego has seen. They won't believe your words. Even I have trouble believing my words. I can hardly blame them. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud here. Let me know if I'm wrong. Those scars of yours, Diego said they were made by his silver weapons, true? Yes, that's why they aren't healing fast. Oh shit, I skipped one. There might be a way. Kyra, a medic here in Edesia, is trying to find out what's wrong with my wounds. The Denarian. This is good. Everybody respects Denarians. Uh, where is she now? At the Silk with my friends. The Silk? <laughs> Diego. Ida. Yes? The moment we leave this palace, you are out in the open. The palace. Uh, you are out in the open. The Silver Order is watching your every move. I know. Do you want me to find a way to. No, I'm just letting you know. I'm tired of little games. I'm tired of hiding in the dark. It's time to sh we show everyone where we stand. This is my country. These are my people. I have sacrificed too much to let them suffer under someone like him. Dario? Get the men ready. I'm leaving. Yes, your majesty. Well, that was nice, I guess. I had no idea. Yes, I told you necromancy is, is dangerous. No one should play with another person's life. This is... It makes me so angry. What's wrong with your magic users? Hey, it's not my fault. I'm only an alchemist. Is human life that easy to spare? Why would they do that? It's all because of necromancers. Stars. Stars, I hate magic. No offense, Xander. No taking, Kyra. There is nothing I can say to make it sound any better. I leave for a few min minutes and you guys manage to, to piss off the dark. I that Xander, um, I, I'm sorry I didn't want to. I never wanted to. D don't say sorry and don't go full noble on me again. Oh, thank you, Xander. Why are you so forgiving? I said such awful things to you. Why are you so forgiving? Oh my god. Promise me. Thunder. Promise me. I promise. So this is the infamous Silk. My queen, it's an honor to have you here. Boys, bring the queen your best, our best wine. Oh shit. Got the entrance, I don't want any surprises. As you wish. Hello again, Kyra. It's good to see you again, Queen Kalida. I didn't know you two knew each other. She camped outside my palace and said she wouldn't leave until she had her permission to open a free clinic in here. Ha, <laughs> I like her style. Thank you again, ma'am. You hardly left me, left me any other choice. Besides, I should be grateful you are helping my people for free. Diego? Isn't it dangerous for you to be out here like this? No, I was waiting for Ida to make up her mind. Now that we're on the same side, I don't have anything to lose. Except your life. I've been living my life for a long time, you know that. You had a choice. You made it. <coughs> and I can see you still blame me for it. This isn't the time for this. You must be the alchemist Diego mentioned. I have heard of the exceptional talent of it. Ildishian alchemists. Thank you, your majesty. And you must be the moon elven mage. I'm hoping you know how to control your powers. Forgive my bluntness, but the first mage I met was under 
difficult circumstances, so fortunately we had to end his life. I've received my tra training in Eldest Academy of Arcan Ar Arcane Arts, Your Highness. You won't have any problems like that with me. And you must be the elf from the Sundrop Island. I've been there once, beautiful place. Indeed. Hello again, Cole. I hope your ankle feels better. <laughs> it does. Can't say the same about your friend, though, Your Majesty. He got what he deserved. Ah, the little Ilif. I heard you're quite heard you're quite dangerous. I'm dangerous. Diego's little brother, Jace, so you are really cute. No he isn't. But take him. I uh ha 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 Anna's daughter. You knew my mother? I did, though Diego knew her better. I thought you said you didn't know her personally. I don't, not now. What's that supposed to mean? Diego? It's a long story. That's my mother, Diego. That's my mother you're talking about. Sky, I knew her personally. She was... She was the one who recruited me into the Eagle Sky. She was my tutor. She fought, taught me everything I needed to know. It was her idea to take down the boss. It was her idea to become the Eagle Leader. If you want to know, I'll tell you, but you won't like it. I need to know. Let's go out. Ida and the rest should focus on Kale. So tell me, have you found out about Ida's wounds? I still need to confirm, but it seems like Ida is basically half dead. Her wounds are indeed trying to transform her into a silver soldier, but since she is technically dead, the transformation can't end. The human part of her is trying to transform, while the dead part of her is forbidding the transformation. Thus, the wounds can't heal. If she is a full noble, she wouldn't be affected by the weapons. So we can use this as proof of King Kale's silver army. We can, we just need to show everyone her wounds. The blood that's coming from the wounds turns silver the moment it touches the ground. Thank, thank the goddess. I'll send the letters to the leaders of Aruina, Aruina, Arunia. Ugh, words. In the meantime, try to find a way to reverse this transformation. I, I'll get my men ready. Kale's army will be here in a month at most. Ida, as the crown princess of Veland, what is your plan? Fuck. Fucking choices, no! Alright, let's think every one of them through. I'll find soldiers, I'll train my people, I'll find supplies, I'll help Kyra. Maybe I should save. Good idea. Yeah, we have to skip stuff then. Yeah, yeah cuteness, I know. Got the entrance, whatever. Okay, I thought this through. No, I haven't, but I thought about it. Oh, this is. We are already very strong. And. Helping Kyra, we won't be that good at helping her, though. I guess Tilly should stay here to help Kyra. Finding supplies, don't think that'll be that useful. I kind of want to find more soldiers. I have a lot of friends around. I've met a lot of people. And I think I can get a lot of people here to fight with me. But I will not choose right now. I will not. I will let you guys have a word about it as well. So please write, please write in the comments what you think I should do because I am seriously fucked if I don't get some suggestions because my thought was that I would get find some more soldiers but I don't know. People tell me, please. Bye. See you the next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>